Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Ironside Ranch. So, this just came out on Daily Wire, and uh, this is a little bit scary. So, I wanted to talk to you all about it, but because of the overlords at YouTube, I have to, uh, have to talk in a little bit of a coded message here. So, you'll have to bear with me, try to figure out what's going on. And it's starting to cool down here, and uh, you can see we got some firewood in the background. So. I'm glad we're getting all this taken care of, and uh, I apologize for the wind. Hopefully it's not too bad, um, and hopefully uh, I can edit that out with the sound, but I'm not very good at editing, as y'all know. That's not that's not my thing. Um, one day when our channel has 200,000 subscribers and I can hire an editor, that'll be great, but until then, y'all get, get me. Um, <laughs> okay, so what has happened um th this is this is actually really really scary we have a um, a, a study and i'll post everything down below i can't because i i, I want to say it was university of washington but it'll be down in the article um I, I don't remember off the top of my head and i didn't take notes i, I brought coffee um the uh the, this this study was done on mosquitoes using mosquitoes to uh inject certain um medical procedures into your body, right? So this sounds like something from a science fiction movie where instead of using syringes, we do uh, mosquitoes to do it. And basically they, they, the, the theory is, is that the mosquitoes, you know, works like a bunch of small injections. And uh, this can be completely controlled. Now, they guaranteed that it would not be used for mass population um, use because uh, it would be too expensive and they don't have the manpower. Now, can you buy that? You buy that, that the government doesn't have the manpower when they just hired 87,000 new, new IRS agents. Well, they haven't hired them yet, but, um, and that they don't have the money, they can print an unlimited amount of money. So those are kind of BS excuses, if you ask me. All right. I think if you, uh, <clears throat> if you believe that, I really, you know, I have a flying unicorn I need to sell you type of thing. Um, I don't think anybody's buying that crap. Um, here's the, uh, here's the deal. This, this, study is kind of groundbreaking and it's groundbreaking in, in a number of ways uh but predominantly it could be groundbreaking medically right to be able to treat people effectively but um and and to treat mass populations uh the problem is is that it does it against your will and uh and and then just the the by the nature of us um augmenting things in nature um i never am a fan of that uh because as a general rule uh, things end up getting worse, right? We make genetically modified foods and then our cancer rates jump through the roof, right? Our medical issues jump through the roof. We make petroleum fertilizer <clears throat> because we don't want to take the time uh, to build natural fertilizers and, uh, and compost. And uh, those petroleum fertilizers, they say, well, it's the same thing. Fertilizer, fertilizer, nitrogen, it's nitrogen. Well, nitrogen that's made with synthetic fertilizer has a different um, uh, atomic mass than nitrogen made uh, from uh, natural, uh, n naturally occurring nitrogens in the uh, uh, in your cow manure and stuff. And so, um, what is that uh, extra? What is that electron? Is that right? I, I forget, guys. I, I haven't done high school, or I haven't done physics since high school. So it's been a while. Um, it's uh, anyways the. Uh, uh, the, 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 the atomic mass of these is, is different, and so that extra component certainly has something to do with it. So when we start messing with nature, I, uh, I, that's where I tend to jump off the, the train. Um, I'm very, very careful about that. I don't say that I draw a hard line there because obviously, um, you know, I wouldn't agree with any medical science in which, which would be ridiculous. But um, I, uh, that, that's, a, that's a discussion to have in depth in person uh, not something I can really do well over a video. So here's the bottom line. This is this is super scary stuff. This is going to uh, allow somebody, some entity, to have control over your body and what they want to put in your body uh, without your say so. And uh, it can be done via an accident. It can be done any number of ways. And so. Um, it's something that uh, that we need to keep our eyes on, and we need to make sure that if there's uh, that that we're that we're telling our legislators that uh, this is not something that we want them to do. Sorry, my daughter's going over to do chores. That this is not something that we want uh, them to be involved with. So, guys, I'll let you go with that. I just wanted to let you know about this. I'm going to post the article down in the description. This is really really scary stuff. Um, but uh, to use mosquitoes to do injections is just uh, 
just unreal. So thanks again for watching, y'all. We'll talk to y'all later.